losable for him. Yep, there are a ton of... Uh, this first round, he's going to be playing against a white-red aggro deck. Now, Lou Laskin is playing a deck that pretty much has 12 Worm Coil engines in it. I agree. Now, That's uh, an accurate characterization. Yeah. If you're green-red, if you're white-red, if you're ramp, Lou's deck is a nightmare for you. Uh, Lou Laskin playing this super interesting deck. This deck was designed by Nick Spagnolo. Um, pretty interesting one. Turn 1 Jataxian Probe. Paying mana. Planes, Oxid Ridge, Silver Blade Paladin, Sword of Warm Peace, Thalia. And another Planes. And another Planes. So he has Planes, Planes, Thalia, Silver Blade Paladin, uh, Sword of War and Peace, Hero of Oxid Ridge. Uh, probably at the lower end of the keepable range of hands for Jesse, arguably a mulligan. Doesn't have a one drop, and Thalia on the draw when you have Sword of War and Peace is probably not where you want to be. Yeah, he actually drew Clifftop Retreat, which is a perfect draw. Well, I guess yeah. Champion is perfect Champion into Clifftop Retreat, but... Draws another sword. Another sword, uh, not necessarily the best, uh, but it could be quite good. Uh, the Thalia into Sword Draw can do pretty well against some of uh, Lou's draws that don't involve Paper Snack. Yeah, but, I mean, you can't curve Thalia into Sword, which is, like, the problem. Yeah. Thalia into Silver Blade, decent, not great, but not terrible. Now uh, a Grand Arctic comes down for Lou, and uh, so does he trade here? Like if no, he I double strikes so, it, because like, even if he double strikes it, then like the Grand Architect gives Lou the opportunity to, to uh, cast Worm Coil on just cast turn. Worm Coil on turn four, and if Lou can cast Worm Coil on turn four against White Red Aggro deck, uh, he, everything's get, gravy yeah, and get, navy. Look, like, he doesn't even look get, at his card. Get, yeah, there you go. The, the card on the top of his deck doesn't matter because <laughs> he knew exactly. Yeah, Th threw it on, on the ground. I'll, I'll pick that up later. I have a turn four Worm Coil engine. And uh, if you're Jesse Gordon right now, you're not the happiest dude in the universe because nope. your opponent has a... Worm yeah, you have Sword of War and Peace, table. and that's not going to do a whole lot. Yeah, um, it's, it's strange when your Sword of War and Peace is unable to race your Mono Blue opponent. So the thing is, Lou has 11 more Worm Coil engines in his deck right now. Yeah, and now a lot of them cost... Two mana. Three or two mana. Yeah. And uh, Jesse Gordon, the only card he has in his deck, or the only three cards he has in his deck that can actually target the image, are Fiend Hunter and Oblivion Ring. So, so he has then, two Fiend Hunter, one Oblivion Ring. Yep. All right, now uh, Lou going up to, uh, going to gain seven with this attack, going up yeah. to 23. Jesse dropping to 13 here. Lou uh, going to go ahead and make a Phantasmal image, a copy of Worm Coil Engine, passing the turn over to Jesse. And uh, can Jesse do anything about... This looks brutal already. About this horde of worm coil engines. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't look like he can. That's, that's the face of a man who is uh, on the wrong end of a worm coil engine. All right, and a Mirror Crusader comes down, and now, actually, this is interesting, because Jesse actually has enough first strike on the board that Lou can't attack with his Worm Coils now. Correct. Yeah. But uh, something that Lou can do is Lou can create some sort of image effect to copy the Silver Blade Paladin and give his Worm Coil engine double strike. That's awesome. I like it. Yeah. Uh, he can also peel the one of Devastation Tide in his deck pre-board and just upheaval and then recast his dudes. Yes, he can also do that. But he'll go for the, the much vapor snag safer there Vapor much Snag. Look at your hand. Sees a sword, Hero yeah. of Oxid Ridge, and uh, sort of and uh, yeah. the uh, Silver Blade Paladin that he writes. Right. Right. Uh, Lou going to uh, send both Worm Coil Engines into the red zone. Sounds very correct. Yeah. His opponent going to be uh, forced to block at least one of them. Blocks Decides both. Decides to uh, chump, chump both. both. Uh, Lou uh, has the option to blue them, does or to blue the worm coil. Uh, he chooses not to blue it, and uh, <laughs> gains, Lou can blue uh, 12. it. Really? Yeah, I mean, it makes it blue, <laughs> right? Have you ever seen Arrested Development? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and right, Jesse has decided it. he's had enough. Yeah. So uh, there, we have seen what the mono blue Grand Architect deck does yeah, against red very, based aggro decks. Very capable of putting games away very quickly. Yeah, now, uh, Jesse taking a look at uh, Lou's deck list is probably like, well, this is unfortunate for me. Yeah. All right, and uh, we're back. So, uh, 
Now it's time to ask a trivia question. Um, earlier today, we watched a very interesting Fritz deck, French Rites, and it had a reanimation target that you don't normally see. This is a reanimation target that I talked a little bit about building in building on a budget, and uh, Drew actually made a fun name for it. Yeah. Now I'd like to know what card you get killed by if you got hoofed. Yeah. So what what card did you yeah. get killed by if you were hoofed? Yeah. That's the question. If if you've been watching today, yeah. you would know. If you read my Building Out a Budget column, you would know. It's a pretty awesome card. This person Just did kill 16 people in the tournament. They die the turn you on Burial writes it. It's very exciting. I'd like to know what you were killed by if you were huffed. So uh, tweet that in to hashtag SCG Premium, and you will give yourself an opportunity to win three free months of Star City Games Premium content. Note that you have to hashtag SCG Premium, not just tweet it at SCG Live. Yeah, if you want to tweet it at SCG Live also, more power to you. If you want to tweet it to me, I'd love to see your answers. <laughs> if you want to tweet it to Drew, you can tweet it to him. But uh, you have to tweet it to hashtag SCG Premium if you want a shot to win. If you want to tweet it to Rihanna or Kesha, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> All right, going to game two. And, man, Nick Spagnolo designed this deck that Lou was playing. And he sent me a text message before Top 8 started. Hey, do you like my deck? <laughs> Question mark. Did you text back, I love it, Heart? I actually, I believe that is exactly how I responded I mean, in return. But I, yeah. I think the heart was an exclamation point. Oh. But a heart would have been more appropriate. Dude, it's definitely exclamation point heart. Yeah. Maybe we're both Do you right not here, love right? Nick Spagnuolo? Of course I love Nick Spagnuolo. Let him know it, man. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Okay. That's right, Nick. I love you. <laughs> we love your deck, too. Yeah. This looks pretty sweet. It's pretty exciting to watch. I'm sure a lot of people are uh, pretty happy at home. They've been watching these top baits, seeing people cast Hunt Master of Fells, seeing people cast Delver Secrets, and it might be a little bit homogenous. But, uh, mm. nope. Lou Laskin shows up. No, he's uh, Pick he's the hunter out with Grand Clefairy? Architect. Hmm. <laughs> Grand Architect was actually my preview card. Really? From Scars of Meriden. I wrote the column. That's awesome. that to the world. I, I knew that Grand Architect existed before anybody else in the public. That's right. I'm a very special human. <laughs> but you didn't build this deck. Why? I actually built a deck very similar to this I'm building on a budget about a year ago. Really? But back then it wasn't very good. It's very well positioned now. <laughs> yeah. Obviously it didn't have gen Dungeon Geist. It actually it did have four Metamorphs and four Phantasmal Images, though. It and right four when Phantasmal It was uh, right when Phantasmal Image got printed. And uh, I, th I think I did not have all four Worm Coils because they're expensive and it's building on a budget. Yeah. But I did have at least a couple and argued that... Uh, you should, right, you then, should no, add I've, more if you could. Yeah, add more if you could, and the reason I justified playing a few is it's it's a promo card. Right. You know, so everybody it's, should it's have at least naturally one. Suppressed. Yeah, everybody should have at least one, and your friends all probably have yeah, at least one. Yeah, if you go to a pre-release, you they just get one for free. So you conceivably just borrow your friends from yeah. Carl Engines if you wanted to play the deck in a tournament. Or so. just go to multiple pre-releases, man. Yeah. Yet another reason to always go to the pre-release. Yeah, pre-release card. You know, sometimes it doesn't turn out to be the best thing, but sometimes it's a worm coil engine. And sometimes it's a restoration angel. Yeah. Well, restoration that's, a, that's not the a release one. foil. No. Sometimes it's a figure of Destiny or a Johnny Vengeance. Yeah, remember when they were giving away a Johnny Vengeance? Yeah, that was real. That was unreal. I was just like, you're just going to give me this Planeswalker? That's really good. I want like, oh, one. Thank you. <laughs> well, and this then figure insane. of Destiny is just like one of the best red and one of the best white one drops in the format. Of all time. It's one of my favorite cards ever. Yeah. It's just so good. You know what I know? I mean, man, Ranger Vias is my favorite card of all time. And if it and weren't it for Figure, Figure of Destiny, Destiny, it would not be my favorite card of all time. Man, Figure of Destiny just puts it over the top. Yeah, Figure of Destiny is like, it's like the, the Steve Nash, you know, <laughs> for Ranger of Vias. It's the Scotty it like Pippen. It makes it look really good. Scotty yeah, Pippen, It's maybe? the Scotty Pippen. There you go. Okay. Uh, for Ranger of Vias, Michael Jordan. Figure of Destiny, Scotty Pippen. Man, I can't believe that we're comparing Ranger Vios to MJ. It's pretty similar, right? It's basically the same thing. They, they just need a good team around them to win the game on their own. Huh. They need someone to get scrappy and rebound. They need someone who can, you know, handle the ball, knows when to pass it. Yeah, I mean, you know what? You know what I really like about Ranger Vios is the art. 
because it's a picture of Ant Ruel. <laughs> yeah. Just like covered in animals, like with like a dog and like a bird and like yeah. all these different animals just like hanging off of him. And they were like, but it's actually like Ant. So like I know him and like he's yeah. like a completely ridiculous human, like a hilarious person. Yeah. And there's a magic card with his picture on it with him in like full armor, like regalia. <laughs> Covered in animals. Yeah. That's got to be one of my favorite parts about that card. Yeah, that, that, that is pretty cool. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, looking at these sideboards right now, uh, Lou, post board, uh, he has a dismember he can bring in. He has a dungeon geist, both going to be pretty good. He has sort of war and peace. Uh, it's a particularly very, strong very card against white red decks. I agree. Um, uh, he also has a devastation tide, which I would like to see in. I don't think he's going to bring it in. Really? I think he has been very disappointed with the Devastation Tide that was in his main deck all weekend. That's, and I that's think valid, spent... but I think that he's played against a lot of Stringer Root Geist and Wolf Run Ramp decks. And well, I think it's familiar. The... I think it's similarly bad against White Red Humans because they have access to Lightning Mauler, and this guy even has Hero of Oxid Ridge. This guy is the same type of like haste pressure. Sure, that makes sense. I think that on Jesse's side, he's bringing in three Oblivion Ring. Uh, yeah. two, gel two Zealous Conscript, and two Revoke Existence. Yeah, the Revokes are going to be really good here. So the seven cards he's cutting, probably getting rid of that one of Riders of Gavany in his deck. Yeah, Seems not really sure what that does. Seems bad. Uh, me either. Uh, getting rid of the two Sword of War and Pieces for sure. White Red Human Mirror, it's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so that's three. I don't think Doom Traveler pulls a lot of weight when you're not getting sweepered. So that's five, and I don't I don't particularly like Mirren Crusader. So that's that's more than seven. I think he's got some options on what to cut, but those those well, are the cards like, I would look. Here, here, I mean it's it's weird. I I guess he's not trading one for one, so he's just trying to apply as much pressure as possible, like early. Yeah. Oh, um, so Lou is mulliganing to five here in game two. It does not bode well for him in this no. game, but uh, he has a whole nother game. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, look, man. People win on mulls to five all the time. I mean, don't 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 start that about the like, oh he's mulling to five. At least he has game three. No, come on, like you you get to play magic after you mull to five. The reason you mull to five is so that you get to play magic, and sure his body language you know belies his lack of confidence. <laughs> but th that doesn't mean that like because your seven card sucks and your six card isn't any better that like you're just doomed because you have five cards. You can still have land 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 architect worm coil. You can still have, like, land, 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 ponder Vapor Snag, and, like, ponder into Grand Architect, and, like, flash No, no, I understand that he can still win. I wasn't. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so, a Thalia on turn two for Jesse. Uh, Thalia's pretty good against Lou's deck. Uh, not excellent, but the fact that he has so many, like, cheap cantrips with Snapcaster Mage it definitely yeah. I mean, you know, hinders him a little bit. Lou, Lou can definitely mitigate it quite a bit by having eight clones to Legend rule it off the board. He has uh, a ton of ways to deal with Thalia. All right, so uh, Jesse has a uh, lightning mauler. Post combat and, lightning uh, mauler. Huh. Yeah, interesting. Um, now, it, I think if he doesn't suit up the lightning mauler right away, that's kind of telling that he has a uh, something like a hero blade hold. Yeah. Interesting that he that Lewis, being the sort of person to know that, would dismember the Thalia. Well, I mean, if he if he doesn't dismember the Thalia, then he kind of blocks himself up for the next couple of turns and needs to pass the turn again. Yeah. And I guess he, he had to do that anyway. But, oh, huh. Jesse doesn't have the hero. So. Or doesn't have the fourth land. I think it's more likely that he's not at the fourth land. Uh, another thing is that Lou might actually have um, Vapor Snag in hand. And might I agree. Be That's very that likely. Up. That seems actually more likely. Yeah. I would expect... Oh, Snapcaster Dismember. That's a lot of damage, man. Yeah, um, That's another four life. And Lou already got an eight here. Jesse with no burn spells, though, so has to deal all all of the damage on the ground. Okay, I can see Jesse's hand now, and he did keep the swords in. He kept them both in because his hand is uh, Sword of War and Peace. Uh, oh, dear. Hero of, oh, very nice. Oh, dear. Wait, did he... Oh, he paid Phyrexian mana for that? Yeah, you must have a Vapor Snag in hand. Yeah, that, that's just like a telegraphed Vapor Snag. Yeah, so what? I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, like, he's laying it on the table, but... Yeah, now, uh, Jesse's he, He's really definitely attacking to, uh, through. So, Jesse's hand's probably, like, Fiend Hunter, another sword, Hero, Blade Hold. So yep, Resolves. Fiend Hunter, Resolves. 
Vapor Snagit. And uh, yeah, Lou at uh, just six now. Goes ahead and uh, gets a vapor snag off on that. And snap custom range comes into play. Unfortunately, you can't make shoot all sorts up of fun and attempts with the. Uh, and his Snapcaster Mage can now not be Fiend Huntered. Correct. So he's going to gain two life, pretty good, and deal his opponent what looks to be nine damage. Yeah. So Jesse uh, does draw fourth land. It's a Cavern of Souls. I'm going to get the same human with that, and uh, it's going to be interesting which hero Jesse has. Yeah. Does he have a hero box? He definitely needs a hero. hero uh, we can be sure he has a hero blade hold based on his play. That's yeah. part of this game. I agree. And that's not very good against Lou's hand. <clears throat> and against Lou's board. And that's it. He's conceding. Yeah, he concedes. I mean, he's dead on board to the, the pro red, pro white guy. Yeah. So Lou, despite the wow. mulligan of five. Um, I mean, his deck is just extremely well positioned. Yeah, the against quick the red kill red with the copied Sword of War and Peace. Wow. Yeah, I did not expect nowhere. Jesse to keep those in. Yeah, I mean, they, they're a they're a huge liability. Yeah, as we saw. They're so good against him. And